What's up, guys? It's me, your pet ass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get ourselves our second badge. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And as you guys can see, bam. Two badges in all. We are, uh, yeah, we are winning. We are literally winning. And, uh, well, in our last episode, too, we captured ourselves a new team member, Nacho, the Halucha. And now it is finally time for us to move on to the next stage, and that is Route 10. Now, if you guys remember, there were, there are some uh, stone bricks right here, or stone, stone uh, boulders, or whatever you like to call them. And since we won our second badge, we were enabled to use the strength technique. So we're gonna be moving this around, bit for bit, just because there is a there is a TM close by here, and we go right here. Press this, and if we go up here, go right there, and then if we go right over here, this will lead us straight towards the well, the the hole on the on the floor. Uh, I also mentioned in the last episode that you you will be able to capture yourself some EVs, heck, even some uh, halluches around this area. And look at this, we found ourselves the TM73. Thunder Wave. Very, very good move, uh, move. And so, let's go ahead and continue on to the next area. Actually, let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers. Okay. So, let's see. What do we need to do right here? Okay, not that. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out Nacho and give Blade a little bit of uh, love right here. Yes, we are trying to evolve our Pokemon. Trying to grow them just a little bit. This place is flowing with power. I often come here to recharge. Are you sure it's power or just rain? I'm just asking. So here we go, taking on Psychic Robert. And he is going to be coming out with a Solosis. And thankfully, I caught myself a blade that will be able to do take care of business right here. So here we go, Shadow Sneak. And... Okay, so I don't know what that is. That's Detect. Was it Detect? It probably was, okay. Alright, so there you go. We have defeated Solosis, and there we go. Solosis defeated. Okay, so, let's see, there is a Pokefan here, and yes, we kind of ran into her. They're just stoned, right? Kind of, probably, I don't know, maybe. Okay. So here we are, taking on Tourist Fumiko, and... Look at this, she got herself she got herself a skip loop right here, so thankfully we got Aerial Ace and this will work and well because we're not fast enough, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna be falling asleep. And I kinda feel as though that if I continue on trying to heal this Pokemon, it's just gonna they're, they're just gonna put it to sleep right here, so let's go with an awakening. There we go. You are awake, my son, and here comes Fairy Wind. And Fairy Wind right here, not so effective, but it is a critical hit. Let's go with a Tatomize. And look at this, we're gonna get Stun Scored. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not getting the... Yeah, we're not getting anything right now. And let's try this one more time, a Tatomize. Here comes a fair wind because, yeah, Skip Loom is still faster than us. So there it is. We're sharpening up yet again. And we are up three levels. So this should be enough to beat this Pokemon. And no, we are still slow. Ridiculous. And there it is. Aerial Ace for the win. Man, how in the hell are we gonna how in the heck are we gonna be losing to Skip Loom right here? And Nova grows to level 22 and wants to learn Razor Wind. Yeah, that move. Yeah, it's a. It, I think it's like one of the worst two move uh, moves out there. So here comes a Dunsparce. Let's go straight to Nacho. And uh, well, let's see if Nacho can do the trick right here. Okay, Nacho, you're gonna be taking on a Dunsparce. Let's see what happens. And. A rock smash we go. If you guys don't remember, in the last episode, yeah, Nacho won as a second bash just by rock smashes. And look at this. Pursuit, not going to be effective. You can't beat this Lucha Libre star. So let's go. 
Rock Smash yet again. Okay, alrighty. And there you go. More points for Nacho. And Sharp Tooth grows to level 24 without doing anything. And here comes a, a, a Zoomer roll. This is a chance for Nova to shine right here. Alrighty. Let's go. Get it, Nova. Now, believe it or not, Nova can only evolve through uh, through a Sunstone, and we gotta find that Sunstone at some point. Here comes that Thundershock, and that was super effective. And here comes a rollout attack. Okay, so this is gonna get a little scary. And you know what? Let's go with a Mud Slap right here. That way, its accuracy can go low, and it will be missing. And it did miss. Okay, so that just uh, it resets the whole rollout thing. And here we go again. Thundershock. And Nova just paralyzes this Pokemon right here. So everything that's everything good right now that's happening, it's happening to Nova. So let's go. Thundershock. And just like that, Azumarill has been defeated. And this, this gives it a lot of experience points. And here we go, Blade Guy getting to level 24. The Goat Jordan at level 25. Oh, yeah. Good luck everywhere. Okay, so let us move on into the next area right here. And that is, we're going to be finding ourselves some Pokemon. Grabbing this, a Mind Plate. And, well, nothing else. We, we do need repels, and this guy's like, a few years back, this re this really strange dude named Colrus told me that the, these big stones emit some kind of en energy. Huh. That is, that, that, that is pretty weird, and yeah, we are going to get to, <laughs> we are going to complete that Pokemon White 2 walkthrough, guys, so don't, don't get on my case about that, please. It will happen at some point. Now, there is, there is an item right there that we can grab, and that is an X accuracy. And... Huh. Yeah, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. Let's see what kind of Pokemon will attack us. And look at this. We're getting attacked by a Gullet. And yeah, we're not going to do anything about that because uh, Blade is paralyzed. And well, I kind of need to... Yeah, I kind of need to, to heal that Pokemon right now. So let's see. Let's go right here. Paralysis heal, bam, and there you go. Let's see. Is there another item around this area? No. Now, if you cross this area, you're going to be seeing a Team Flare member, and you're going to be saying, Stop right there. I remember you. You're the one who foiled our uh, fossil finding plans. And now you're here standing around these stones. Do you have any idea what they even are? Of course you don't. You don't know, you don't, you know nothing about the legend of 3,000 years ago that, that it says. Wait, what did I just say? Oh, whatever. Who cares all about that? It's time for me to get some sweet revenge with style. Okay. With style. So here it is, guys. We're taking on another Team Flare Grunt, or the same one that we've seen over at uh, the Glidden Cave. And he is going to be coming out with, uh, with a uh, Hound Dower. That is not going to work for our Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead. And switch it out to Sharp Tooth. This guy. Yeah, this guy will be able to do the trick. Okay. Here comes a bite attack. Funny thing. Sharp Tooth's ability. Yeah, well, I, I did equip it with, uh, what was it called? Uh, a Rocky Helmet. But funny enough, Sharp Tooth's ability strengthens up its any kind of bite based attacks. And that is Strong Jaw, I believe. And. Are you serious? So you just roar. And here we have Star Fox coming back out. And we're going to go with a flame charge since... Eh, is that going to work right here? Bam! And there goes Houndour. Yes, Houndour is not going to like that one right there. So, get some experience points. Everybody's getting points. Nacho grows to level 24. And it's trying to learn Fling. This is a move that I kind of don't want to use at the moment. And here comes a Golbat, and you know what? Scratch that, we're gonna be using uh, Star Fox. Alrighty. Let's go with a Psy Beam attack right here. And... Look at that. Oh, Golbat has uh, survived. Oh, come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Buckets. 
So, what are the odds of that happening? I do not know. So let's go with another side beam. See if that works out. Come on. Who's going to hurt himself first? And yes. Side beam for the win. There we go. Another victory. Okay. All righty. And yes, Nova grows to level 23. And we have defeated a Team Flare Grunt. That is perfect. And look at this. We get some more points or we get some more uh, monies right there. Okay, so after defeating the Team Flare Grunt, he's going to be saying, What the? How could I lose again to the little punk like you? What are you, some kind of trainer prodigy or something? Probably. And as he says that, he's getting a message. He's like, I see. Roger that. <laughs> Gotta love the Holocaster. I can get updates on my mission in real time and, uh, with, with this stylish device. Whoever thought of this thing, uh, or whoever thought this thing up must have been one truly stylish individual, too. And on that note, it's time for me to scram with style. Okay, what is it with these guys in style? Yeah, who cares about your style? Okay, so we're gonna be going into some grassy areas. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to try and uh, avoid many of these Pokemon. So, let's see. There could be an item right there. Yes, we found ourselves a burn heal, and we're gonna be going into the next area right here. This is a psychic, so. This guy's like, I can feel the energy from these stones enhancing my already potent psychic powers. Do you? Do you really? So here we are taking on Psychic Saeed, and he is coming out with a meta type. And, well, Blade is here, ready to kick some butt, take some names, do some damage. So let's go straight for a Shadow Sneak. And, is that a Detect? Oh, yeah, it is a detect. Okay, I thought Shadow Sneak would actually work. So let's go again. Shadow Sneak. And just like that, Meditai has been defeated. And, well, let's see. Who is next? Here comes Curlia. Let's continue on. Alrighty. Here comes the Trace. No guard. And we're going to be going straight for a Shadow Sneak attack. And... Just like that, we win again. All right, Blade. Kicking some butt, taking some names. All righty. Okay. So, yes, our Pokemon are improving. They're doing their best. And we're getting some more points right here. And, uh, well, let's see. There is an item. Let's go ahead and grab that. Here we found ourselves a Thunderstone. That will work out later on for whichever Pokemon I wish to evolve through a Thunderstone. And let's see. There are more and more of these rocks, uh, big rocks, as you get closer to Geosenge Town. Hmm, Geosenge. And there is another Team Gla or team Flare member, so let's go right ahead and use Sharp Tooth for this occasion. All right, Sharp Tooth, let's go. Can't you see we adults are busy? Don't interrupt our work, kid. Hmm. Okay. All righty. So here we are taking on a female Team Grunt or Team Galactic Grunt or no, not Team Galactic, Team Flare Grunt. So we're gonna be going up against this Electrike while we have a uh, good old Sharp Tooth right here. And here comes Howl. That will increase its physical attack, but we're gonna be going with some Stealth Rock right here just in case for the next Pokemon. And uh, let's go with the Bite Attack. Yeah, we are risking getting paralyzed just because of the physical contact and well you are getting hurt with a, uh, with a rocky helmet and that right there we're getting closer and closer to defeating this electric right here so here we go bite attack for the win and there you go sharp tooth get some more points and blade Grows to level 25. Here comes a Krogon. Now, this Pokemon I do not want to mess with when it, when it comes to Sharp Tooth. Mainly because it's a Rock-type Pokemon right here. So, let's go ahead and switch it out. And, uh, Krogon, how's it going? What you doing? Let's go right ahead. And, uh, yeah, you, you, you're shuddering. What does Anticipation do? I do not know. So, here we go. Psybeam for the win. And there you go. More damage. Oh yeah, we're definitely taking these people's butts. And Sharp Tooth grows to level 25. Team Flare, not happy. 
And yes, we're saying yes. Okay, so... Let's see. What is next right here? There might be one more item. Maybe two. We just gotta look hard enough. And there is a Pokemon trainer right there. A few, well, two trainers right there. Hmm. Actually, she's not a trainer. People in ancient times must have been incredible. Hmm. Maybe I should say that it, that it was the Pokemon in ancient times that were incredible. Yeah, they were all incredible. Simpler times and all that stuff. Probably. Which brings me to this one right here. Even to this day, guys, I still, I, I still haven't played Pokemon Origins uh, uh, Arceus and all that stuff. And I hear it's pretty good. And because I've been playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, I, I hear that there's a small event that connects the two together. Oh, I need to, I, I need to start, yeah, I need to start playing these games a little bit more because, well, I'm kind of getting, like, I'm getting, kind of getting behind, mainly because I restarted everything. But it was probably a good thing. For the best. It was. I think. I hope. And, well, look, we defeated another Team Flare Grunt, I think. Yes. With Toothless. Okay. And here is a female, and she's gonna be like, To have a battle at a famous sightseeing spot? Oh, this will make a great memory. Yes, it is. It, it will be a great memory. Let's go. And take on a Tomoko. And she is going to be coming out with a Drifloon, or Drifloon, I think. Drifloon, yeah, Drifloon. And, well, Bite Attack is going to be doing its trick right here. And, yes, this Pokemon is getting pumped. Okay, so here we go. Bite Attack for the win. Just like that, we are victorious. And, well, let's see. Hippopotas is a Pokemon that we've seen before. Let's go with the Goat Jordan. And, uh... Take care of business right here. Yeah, once we evolve all, all our Pokemon, oh yeah, we'll be unstoppable right here. So here is Hippopotas using Sandstream. And this one is going to take a Razor Leaf. So here we go, Razor Leaf. For the win, and there goes Hippopotas. <laughs> kind of funny how you're saying the name right after a long time, right? And look at this. The Goat Jordan grows to level 26 and is learning Bulldoze. This is a very good move. I am going to take away nature power because, well, we already got the normal type move, so it's not that bad. And there you go. And yes, we're going to be buffed by the the sandstorm. So here comes Pachirisu. We're going to continue with the Goat Jordan mainly because it does have Bulldoze now. And let's go with that Bulldoze. And, well, of course, we're going to get hit by uh, an electric attack right here. But here comes Bulldoze. And this Pikachu lookalike is not liking this. Its speed has fallen. And we're both going to get hit by the Sandstorm. And, well, let's go right ahead and do it one more time. And it's braced itself. So it's it's used the dirt. Yeah, this Pokemon endured the hit. Its speed has gone down. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. Well, it's going to get buffed by the Sandstorm, so it was his own undoing right there. Okay. Alrighty. And just like that, Tamako has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, so I think that is pretty much it for this. Yes. Okay, so we finally reached Geosedge Town, I think. Yes. So, Geosense Town, as many of you guys already know, is the prime location for all things historical in the Kalos region. Especially the legend. And we will find out about those legends in the next episode. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being uh, supportive and patient, as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.